Да, уже на месте. Good morning and welcome to the Republic of Buratia in far eastern Russia and the city of Ulan Ude. We arrived yesterday from a two-day train from West Siberia, a place called Kemerova, where I'm originally from. We didn't get up too much yesterday, we arrived pretty late and it got pretty dark early. So we're going to explore the city today. We are on our way to the city center. So we're actually only two and a half hours from the Mongolian border here and a mere 5,600 kilometers from Moscow. And in many ways it feels like you're in a totally different country here. The first people that settled in the area of Buryatia were Buratians, the people of Mongolian origin. It was first colonized by Russia in 1666 and it was established as a major trading post between Russia and China and a major stop on the Chinese tea route. The population of the city really boomed in early 1900s due to the arrival of the new Trans-Siberian Railway. During the Soviet period, Ulan Ude was actually completely closed off to all foreigners. That all changed in 1991 when the Soviet Union broke up. One of the city's most famous residents is none other than this guy. Some of the more beady-eyed of you may have actually noticed this is a more Asian version of Lenin. And even some of the least beady-eyed of you would have noticed his head is absolutely massive. This head is 25 meters. I'm one and a half, he is 25. 25 meters. I just From now on, every time I'll hear the saying, the big head, I'll think of him. By the way, a lot of the city was built by the prisoners of war, Japanese and Germans, after the Second World War. So we've made it to the pedestrianised street. The area is called Arbat. So it continues for about a kilometre, but completely pedestrianised. So we're going to have a wander up there, and see what's at the end. The city seems so unique to the rest of Russia we've seen so far. And it's such an incredible opportunity to see a few different cultures blending in one place. This is one of the main reasons why we love to travel so much. We're going to attempt to get the drone up, but it's minus 24 at the moment, so it says on the specifications that you can fly it down to minus 10 degrees Celsius. But too good not to have a go. By the way, if you've noticed these as we've been filming around the city, these are because the houses behind us, and that we'll show you now, are really old, and they don't have water, mains water supply pumps in them. So these water pumps 
People come with their buckets to collect the water for their homes. We've been walking for quite a few hours now and we're a bit cold. So we decided we're going to go and try some local Baratian food. We decided on a place called Buzza Room, one of the most highly recommended places online to try Baratian food. After flicking through the menu, we finally decided on Dambar, a meaty fried noodle dish, Shulian, a meaty noodle soup, and of course the famous Buzzies which are dumplings with meat inside. Oh yeah, and traditional Mongolian English tea. We were really surprised at the taste of this incredible soup. The meaty broth blends so well with the noodles and the beautiful dumplings. It's something we'd highly recommend. It's definitely one of my favorite soups now. Dambar is an absolutely delicious noodle dish with all different cuts of beef and the insides, which Matt really enjoyed. Julia was gonna try it too, but she chickened out last minute. Continuing with the blend of East and West, buzzies are often eaten with soy sauce, mustard, and a chili sauce. Mm, mm, mm. We finished off our meal with basically donuts with some condensed milk, which were incredible. Now, let's get out of this place quickly before we order anything else. The food was absolutely incredible. We really enjoyed exploring Milan today, and it's such a beautiful city with a unique mix of Russian and Mongolian culture. It's gotta be, in our opinion, the best stop on the Trans-Siberian Express, right? So tomorrow we're gonna to be eating more Baratian food and also exploring a Buddhist temple just outside of the city. So we're really excited about that. Make sure you check back for those videos. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and see you in the next one. How's it going so far? It's good. My fingers haven't fallen off, so it's a bonus. And I'm guarding the bird. Lesson learned for today. If your granny offers you to take families with you, you say yes and take it.